Hey loves, Jay here with a special spirit message for Aquarius for this week, July 24th through the 30th. If you find that this message does not resonate with you, I recommend checking your moon rising and Venus signs for a comprehensive outlook on your week ahead. We're going to delve into your overall energy, offer some valuable advice for the week, and then uncover your potential outcomes. I've already pulled a focus card for you for the week, so make sure you stay tuned until the end for all of your insights, okay? We have already pulled your spread, so we're going to hop right into your overall energy for the week. We have the Moon, the Empress, and the Seven of Pentacles reversed, so two major arcanas here. Could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, or this could be energy in your chart here. So I feel like you guys either have um, some, some hidden fears about possibly even, you know, your independence or starting a family or... There's something that's hidden here. That's what I'm feeling. There's also some desires and maybe even fantasies that are coming up for you that um, you're you're trying to, I feel like you're trying to solve pieces to a puzzle, it feels like. I don't know where that is, energy is coming from. But I do feel like an energy of not wanting to lose yourself in something. Okay, that's what it feels like. That's the energy, overall energy that I'm feeling for this too. I'm going to feel into this uh, Seven of Pentacles here reverse. Because I do feel like um, there's a lack of something, okay, or you're feeling limited in some so, sort of way. So you make it, you could be distracted or feeling like you know something isn't enough, okay. That's what I'm. That's the energy I'm picking up here. It's a, I don't want to say it's weird because it's just the energy that I'm tapping into. But there's there's um, there's something that you're seeing or feeling very clearly that feels uncomfortable and it feels like the unknown that you may you know you may fear. And maybe this could be lingering in your subconscious as well, but it feels like a fear or something, um, you know, maybe something that you're unclear about or not wanting to see, or you may be doubting something. Like I said, it could be doubting, um, you know, being a parent, you know, starting a family, whatever this is, but it feels like the energy of you could have lost your way in something. You're just un you're uncertain, okay, is what, I, is what I'm feeling. So that, that energy could be coming up for you um, this week. Uh, I really hope not, but... Um, that's what I'm feeling. Okay, so distracted. Okay, so maybe there are things that you need to focus on, but you're distracted by these thoughts and feelings that keep lingering. Okay, so I'm almost feeling like a recurring pattern for some of you. Um, but again, it is based around fear. Let's get some advice. We have the, the Four of Wands. We have the Ten of Swords reverse and then the King of Cups. So um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, your energy here in the center of this. And then we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So advice is to focus on family, focus on community is what I'm hearing, focus on um, building unions, bu building friendships, growing together as well. I do feel like you're coming out of a phase here with this, um, the Ten of Swords reversed, okay, like you're recovering from something, like there may be something you have invested a lot of time and energy from and you've recuperated from, and or, or this is... Um, an end to something, you know what I mean? But I feel like it only really, it goes up from here is what is what I'm hearing, okay? Because I feel like you're focused on a sense of inner peace, self-compassionate, um, self-compassion, but um, making sure that you're not in a place of being cold or emotionally manipulative. Watch your moods this week as well. Um, maybe you are surrounded by family and friends. Maybe you're surrounded by people in your family that you don't care for. I don't know. That's coming up for, for some of you as well. So you're having to watch this being cold and manipulative or just being standoffish. So it feels like you are stepping into a new, uh, a new energy where you're able to see and accept things and people for who they are and there's no judgment that you could still love them from a distance you could still love them you could still show up and be your best self even in their presence even if you don't vibe with them but it definitely feels like that it definitely feels i do feel like a sense of um happiness or celebration this week but like i said it feels like community okay so it, it does feel like you're there's some sort of transition that you are that you're in um, going to be in this in, in this week and and spirit is saying to fully and fully embrace whatever this is okay being grounded this week is also very important for you because your energy can seem to be all over the place this week remember you're a, the water bearer so you still have although you're air sign you have that element of water so you could be flighty is what I'm hearing so make sure that you're just in a place of groundedness this week okay so that is your advice let's get your outcome here 
the Four of um, Swords, the Death card, and then the Nine of Wands reversed, okay? So um, this week you may find yourself resting or seeing things from a different perspective here, okay? I, I do feel like this shift in you this week, um, Aquarius, as we're transitioning into the month of August, it feels like this week is imperative for you to step into this energy to really make a change in your life because it feels like there's going to be a lot of change coming up for you, okay? A lot of transitions that are going to be happening, whether that is physical um, transitions, relocating, spiritual uh, transitions as well. Um, there could be transitions in friendships and, you know, and just your relationships in general. But I'm, I, I am feeling to, you know, um, this Four of Swords is making me feel like to have some peace around whatever these transitions may be here, okay? This Nine of Wands reverse, um, some of you could have come off as um, defensive um, when, you know, things come up or people tell you about yourself or are hesitant or paranoid about something, okay? Whether that is people or whatever this is, but I feel like there is some sort of transition of you coming out of that energy. So if you have been feeling a certain way, Aquarius, I feel like it's going to uh, be for the better. Okay, if, for those of you that are resonate with being in this sort of flighty energy of you know uh, confusion or just um, uncertain about things, I do feel like there is going to be a transition for you this week, which I think is really beautiful, and I think you're probably going to be relieved about the transition that is happening for you stepping out of that energy. So that is the outcome. Your focus for this week is guidance. Look at that. You have support and also your guides are and guys and angels are asking you to um, receive the support that's coming to you, receive the love, to also give love. There are signs that spirit is giving you in order for you to take new direction. Okay. So your focus this week is to give support and feel supported is to give love and receive love. That is your focus, okay? Love or above this week is just, it's really fallen into that element of life because everything else begins to clear away. Um, and, and to pay attention to the signs, okay, to give you the direction that you need to go through, uh, go in because if you've been feeling uncertain about something, this week you're going to have a bit more clarity about which direction you need to go in. Um, okay, so pay attention to that. And then I look at 47, 4 plus 7 equals 11. So it's a new beginning for you guys, okay? It's like I said, it's a new start. It's a new transition for you. But I do feel like it is definitely in your favor. And I feel like you're going to be lifted from some of this uncertainty or worry that you may be feeling, okay? So that is your reading, Aquarius. Thank you so much for tuning in for the week. Be sure to like this video, comment below, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I will be back for another Monday weekly reading. Have a beautiful week. I'll see you guys very soon. Many blessings, love, and light. Peace, guys.